It is going to be a busy weekend all across the country, very busy travel time. In fact, let's take a live picture right now from O'Hare International Airport right outside the United Terminal where computers this morning have crashed there and there is a ground stop. That means traffic is going to begin to back up. There's going to be a huge ripple effect, just what passengers traveling across the country do not want to hear this morning as thousands upon thousands of people in Chicago get on their way and millions across the country. But this year, with the economy as it is, things may be a little bit different all across the country for travelers. Terrell Brown is in Secaucus, New Jersey, along I-95 with more on that this morning. Good morning, Terrell. Hey, Dave, good morning to you. Yeah, 37 million Americans expected to travel over the 4th of July holiday weekend. 5% of those travelers will hop on a plane, but the other 32 million will hit the road. With kids out of school for the summer, families will be packing up the car and heading out of town to celebrate Independence Day. Woo! But an uncertain economy makes this year a little different. We're saving more, and as such, it looks like we're traveling slightly less. Even with gas prices lower than this time last year and holiday airfares down an average of 16%, Americans traveling on vacation this weekend will decrease by 2%. Nothing's cheap anymore. <laughs> so, I mean, everybody's kind of staying around here and just hanging out. What are your plans? Uh, plans are having people over at my place, a little barbecue, hang out at the pool. Experts say they're seeing a trend of holiday travelers staying closer to home with one third of those expected to travel less than 250 miles round trip. If there's any silver lining in the dark cloud of the abysmal economy, it's the fact that we've discovered our friends and family once again. And Dave, you know what an interesting fact here this morning, July the 3rd, this Friday coming up, it will be the most deadly day on roadways all across the country. The 4th of July is the second most deadly day of the year. Dave, we'll send it back inside to you. All right. Now, uh, everyone on notice, be careful on the roadways. Thanks, Terrell.